Dan Moskal here, and in this video we are going to review, edit, and uh, publish some new content for search engine optimization for our website and to uh, briefly go through a bit of a checklist to make sure that we're adding new content in the most SEO friendly way to help our website and help our other pages and uh, with a clear destination um, so the brief backstory is I'm working with a new business partner and uh, recently sent me, this is a draft article in our WordPress website. This is the WordPress website, just so you are aware. It's using the Genesis framework with the news theme. So currently, and this is just the draft version, it's currently titled Your Credit Account Terms and Conditions let's go ahead go get a keyword tool I recommend you use Google's keyword tool there's I believe is the best you don't have to have an account but you'll get a little bit better results if you do have an account so let's go ahead and just paste that in your credit account terms and conditions because it's gonna find related search terms if you see a little dash through the global monthly searches that means it's not being searched for uh, that's the same thing as zero on a side note um, I would also recommend looking at the exact match I primarily work from the exact match so what we are going to this is looking uh, at the ad group ideas if you have a if you don't have an AdWords account you're just gonna get keywords ideas and either one it's fine it's no problem I'm thinking we're gonna retitle this something about building your credit or or uh, the article is actually about you know kind of building rebuilding your credit um, and what a new line of credit would uh, how it's gonna act so the first thing we're looking at the title this is the actual title on our page and then we have the Yoast plugin uh, for SEO, which I would strongly encourage you to get if you're using a WordPress website. Uh, the all-in-one's not bad either, and there might be, I'm sure there's some other good ones. But this is what the Yoast plugin looks like, and this is what our website would currently look like in a Google search result. So, uh, building maybe we'll do building credit with maybe we'll do something from building credit from scratch uh, but that is a little snippet preview of what our website would currently look like and I think we're gonna actually do something along the lines when you're trying to build your credit score we'll do let's check out build your credit score yeah, that's what the current build your credit score that's what the current uh, meta description has 91 times I personally think is a little bit too low so I think um, something about building your credit like build your credit <laughs> I want to say with new lines of credit maybe we'll do that rebuilding credit by getting new credit uh, the only thing I'm not a fan of about that is we're repeating credit it almost sounds like we're kind of keyword stuffing our title so we'll do uh we're either going to do build credit or rebuild credit and let's go ahead get new credit to rebuild your credit we're going to go ahead and just use that because uh, we'll stuff it if it gets penalized for stuffing we'll have to deal with it how to build credit fast
We'll do building credit with build Dean building credit by If you're trying to build back your credit, you're doing two things, eliminating bad credit and obtaining new credit. So we'll do building credit. Maybe we'll just leave it at that. Um, let me show you one last thing, whoops. All right, so we're gonna just change it up here. This is what's gonna actually show up on our page, building credit. Building credit with new accounts. That will avoid uh, keyword stuffing. And that might not even be keyword stuffing because it's just speaking naturally, uh, building credit with credit cards or something. But we're going to title it Building Credit with New Accounts. We'll say it like that because uh, in the first sentence you can read it says if you're trying to build back your credit and we may change that when we get to the uh, internal linking. So the way we have it set up is our website title. It's titled Credit Help comes with a little hyphen and then credit help. Building credit with new accounts, credit help. I like the way that looks. Should you want to change that for some reason, you could type anything you want in here. And then our meta description is right here. It's also in this box. When you're trying to build your credit score with new credit accounts, you must know what you're signing up for so there are no unpleasant surprises. Perfect. Building credit with new accounts, credit help. That is perfect, absolutely perfect. So we're gonna just leave this blank because that's what's gonna show up for it. And we like that dash credit help if, at the end. Uh, Maria Masterson is the pen name of our new business partner. So we're gonna leave them as the author. If you wanna change it, you do it, you know, there's a drop down menu and that's using a user. If you are curious about how to add a new user to your WordPress site, uh, check out some other related videos here on the my channel, Dan Moskal. So there's just a couple last little things we need to do. Categories, we need to choose a category. A category is gonna put this article within one of these five, well, four categories, that's our homepage. So for example, we're gonna do, yeah, we'll probably do credit repair help for this. So it's going to show up, the new little excerpt will show up directly above bad credit. <clears throat> Building credit with new accounts. Yeah, we'll do, we'll just do credit repair help. And then uh, the other thing, so let's preview this. If you ever want to preview your page, click right here. And that's going to pull up a preview. It'll open a new window. So this uh, font's just a little bit different than what we typically use. We always use the Verdana font. Um, and I think these numbers get kind of messed up. So we're going to just go ahead and manually add them in. Like that. And uh, we're also going to change the font color. We like the black. If your WordPress website doesn't have this interface, we have the, geez, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was the, I want to say the Super Edit plugin displayed. WP Super Edit. That's a great plugin, and that'll give you some more options up here. We'll talk about that in another video. But we have the categories. We have this using the same font as all the other pages on our website. There's a couple uh, little spacing errors that we're going to fix here. And uh, and this the only other thing we need to do with this video is do some internal linking. Internal linking is where we're going to link to other pages on our website. 
and this is key I mean this is so key and so important this is an internal link remember although it may take some time to build your credit and then we link over to our page we're on the same URL address but our page about build how to build credit that will get that that's one of the best links it's called internal linking and it is seems to have only been increasing with weight and the value that the search engines give it when it comes to search engine optimization and by using this term build your credit we are much more likely to get that page ranked for the term build your credit where we're voting and telling the search engines that our web page should be ranked on that term by using this internal link build your credit so this is Dan Moskal and in the next video we're going to talk about internal linking and we're also going to fix the URL before we publish it so check out the uh, next video here if you'd like to see the rest you can also visit danmoskaluniversity.com for more tips and you can grab a copy of our book over at Amazon how to create a website easy button uh, please comment below like this video share it with your friends family and colleagues and have a wonderful afternoon